But we begin with high school hoops as Central Catholic at home taking on Birmingham brother Rice. And we're all tied up at four in the first. Ball gets in the hands of Manny Johnson. The deep three from Steph Curry range. Central Catholic ahead by three. End of the quarter. Home team down for Sherrod Vaughn from deep and the bank is open. Trey cashes in on the tray. It's a one point deficit for Central, but in the second quarter, it's all Brother Rice. A 15 0 run. Johnson pulls up that one, falls to end the run. Fourth quarter, Ace Walter three is no good, but Jeremiah Caffey misses the putback. Trevor Smith finally gets it to fall, but the Warriors dominating. 71 35 your final. Mason Lowry and Red Boy join us from Cherry Street. Well, guys, let's start here. That Brother Rice team, they are really something. They've got size. They've got experience. They've got a generational talent in Elijah Williams, one of the best sophomores in America. They're the real deal. And they put it all together extremely well. I was so impressed with them on the defensive end first with their ability to control the gaps against the dribble drive and the cutting action of Central Catholic. The ability to close out and recover the perimeter, keeping the ball in the perimeter. It really made life difficult for Central Catholic on the offensive end. But I thought for Brother Rice on, the, on the, their offensive end, how well they share the basketball. They have, they have a plethora of guys that could take a game over at any given oh, time, yeah. but they share it. And then when you spread the wealth like that, you're awfully hard to guard. We saw that in full exhibition here this evening. Here's the really remarkable thing. This Brother Rice team, with all the talent they've got, they're now 4-3 and three in their conference. They have lost to teams in their league three times. You know, Mike Schoen, the St. John's coach, told me at the start of the year, this, the Catholic High School League, is the best basketball conference in the Midwest. I believe him. Yeah, it's mind-boggling that they've lost three times to what we saw here this evening and all the pieces they have. But, again, that speaks to the depth of the league, how talented the league is. And for, for teams, you don't only have to be physically good on the court. You have to be mentally tough enough to handle some adversity because you're going to get knocked down in this league. It's how well you respond to it that will determine your fate at the end of the season. Brother Rice, the team, they've dealt with some adversity early on. They've handled it, and they're hitting their stride at the right time. Central Catholic got off to a good start in this game. They were only down three after the first quarter. They struggled from that point on. Two guys really stood out to me, though, for the Irish. Manny Johnson and Isaiah Mack Russell, two of the youngsters. They belonged out there for sure. They really did. You mentioned it, youngsters. That's a freshman and a sophomore that you're talking about there. And although tonight the game got away from Central Catholic, the strength of the core of this team outside of Isaiah Brenneman is in the youth, the freshman and sophomore class. And, and again, they, they, even though the game got away from them, they played extremely hard here tonight. They were, they were competitive, but Brother Rice, too much. But for Central Catholic, better days ahead because when they get to the district, it's wide open for them. So they'll, they'll go through their growing pains, take their lumps, but learn from it and get better at it as a result.